at six, one of the most well-known churches in the Bay Area has been stripped of its pastors, Glide Memorial in San Francisco's Tenderloin. It's known for its service to the homeless. They feed, house, and care for anyone who needs it free of charge. But that constant generosity might have landed Glide in trouble with their parent institution, the United Methodist Church. KPIX 5's Emily Turner is in Modesto asking why the Methodist Church just removed two of Glide's pastors. Leaders from the California Nevada United Methodist Church meet once a year every year. So we came today to that meeting to ask the bishop about what's happening at Glide Memorial. They're singing hymns of joy, but some hearts are heavy. This is going to be a time for deep thought and prayer and meditation. A disagreement between San Francisco's Glide Memorial Church and its overseeing United Methodist body has left the congregation without a pastor. It's not common. It's not common at all. So this, is this, this, this situation is, is uncommon. It's, it's unheard of. Glide's board got an email from Bishop Minerva Carcano Saturday, letting them know that effective July 1st, its two associate it, pastors will it, be removed, it, not to be replaced, essentially leaving the congregation without anyone to lead Sunday's services. Okay. Do you want me to speak or not? The superintendent broke the news to the congregation on Sunday, but didn't have an explanation from the bishop about why. We followed the bishop to Modesto, but couldn't get an explanation from her either. Bishop, can we talk to you? I'm sorry, we're getting ready to process in. Is anybody going to talk about this? But, well, but this. But this doesn't help me. I know we're not. I told you that. But President and CEO of Glide, Karen Hanrahan, says she thinks she knows what this is all about. The reality is that over the past decades, we've evolved so that about 95% of what we do is programs and services, and about 5% um, is a church. So um, uh, it's the relationship with the United Methodist Church has been collaborative, but now under this new leadership, I'm, I think we're concerned that it's starting to shift. But will that be too big a hurdle to overcome? Or will this week's work find a meeting of the minds? All parties are at the conference, and many more will be hoping they can find a compromise between spiritual and social missions. Everybody wants to save lives and save souls. They just need to work things out, that's all. We all have the same common focus and purpose, but we just need to sit down and work things out. In Modesto, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.